All right, Jessica, well, thanks so much for, uh, for joining us. Uh, I know it's been a, a really wacky last few months, that's for sure. But, uh, but you've been lucky, I guess, with the soccer team. You guys have been back together training for a little bit now. That must have been, uh, been pretty cool to, to finally get back out there and take advantage of this nice weather and, uh, you know, see your teammates again. Uh, what, what was that like when you were finally able to get back out on the pitch? Honestly, it was... It was such a, I didn't think that I missed it that much until I actually got out there. And like, when I got to see the girls, like I was just like so overjoyed and so excited and in such a good mood. And even though we couldn't do like the normal drills that we do, like obviously no contact, but even just like passing a ball around and getting to like goof around with, you know, the girls, it was just like, it's so much fun. And it, it makes you kind of realize like once something that is so kind of like, I don't know, like consistent in your life. And then all of a sudden they get like, it gets like snatched away from you. You don't like, you don't realize how much of an impact that has on you until you get to finally like go back and have it again. And it's made me realize that like, while I, I it's crazy because I'm like, I'm already halfway through my, you know, varsity uh, experience at UBC. And I, it's made me realize like, I, I want to make sure that I kind of suck every last little, you know, like bit of it that I can. Cause like, it's super special and exciting and I, it's been so much fun and especially with all the craziness going on in the world right now like it's been a definitely like a breath of fresh air I didn't know that like twice a week I get to go out and do something that like I absolutely love and is like my passion with like my best friends so it's it's something that like it, I'm very grateful for it even if it can't be what it once was like at least just some part of it is like I'm so happy like it's been so much fun like I've been loving it yeah uh, it's been great to, to follow you guys on social media. Uh, your Twitter and Instagram accounts for the team have been uh, been really good. Uh, uh, who's been kind of taking care of all that and giving us all the inside looks? Uh, anyone who's interested should go go take a look because it's uh, it's a good insight into kind of what you yeah. guys are up to. Yeah, it's uh, I give a, I'm going to give a big shout out to our um, equipment manager Ryan Hum because he's been at every single one of our training sessions. And he's been the guy behind, you know, all the awesome like photos and videos of us training and a lot of the soccer highlights that we've been like showing on our social media. And he's, he's been super awesome. He jumps in with us if we need an extra goalie, if we need an extra player to make sure that the teams are even and that kind of stuff. So he's been every session he's there, like taking, you know, videos of us getting some awesome shots and like actually making the effort to make it fun for us to see footage. Cause like, I, it's like my favorite thing on the drive home after practice, like looking at the, the stories and getting to see like, Oh, did I make it on? Like, and he, he's caught some like really awesome like plays, especially because we're doing like, as I mentioned before, like lots of shooting stuff right now, because it's like kind of one of the only things we can do. So like lots of like super awesome goals and like some really cool saves from our goalie Sarah right now. And it's just like, it's super fun to watch. And it like, it kind of brings back all the fun, you know, experiences that we had when, you know, we were in the peak of season, like all the build up to nationals and then after nationals. So it's super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, stepping back in time a bit, uh, you're one of, uh, you know, a, a rare group of, of dual sport athletes. I know you were getting ready for, for track season uh, back in the spring and then everything kind of got, got thrown for a loop there. So, you know, maybe let's just take us back to, to the, uh, you know, the earliest part of spring, end of winter there. And then uh, how did that affect you and, and, and how did you kind of deal with that tough news? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, like, I, I always try and stay as present as I can in the moment, because I think if I think too much about soccer or track or one or the other while I'm trying to do one, I notice that, like, I get really overwhelmed, and it's just too much to handle. So, like, while I'm doing soccer, I stick to soccer. While I'm doing track, I stick to track. But I, uh, yeah, like, when I was trying to do the transition after nationals, like, I think my, like, motivation for sports was probably at an all-time high. I would say, like, I was like the same kind of experience I had like in first year and I was just had like all this energy and like trying new things and I kind of had a bit of a lull in second year just with some like um had a bad concussion and some injuries and so I was kind of lacking a bit of motivation I would say when track season rolled around I was pretty burnt out but um this year like come February I was like super motivated I got a new got a new coach and he was super awesome he's definitely someone that like his name's um Dave he's super awesome and he definitely like works well with me and my personality type and I was really enjoying it like getting really good at like you know super strong on the track in the gym and like my hurdle technique was probably like at an all-time high and so I was really excited to get back to racing because I had missed the year before and I felt like really hungry to like see what I could do on the track especially after um you know like our nationals win and my my goal was to be a double national champion this year that's what I wanted for myself and I think 
the girls that we have on the team, um, we definitely could have done it for sure. And I think that's like, it's kind of heartbreaking because it, it was a, probably like the rarest opportunity in, in sport I'll ever have is to be able to say that like, I could have become like a double national champion, which would have been the first in like BBC's history. So it was this little internal goal that like I wasn't telling anyone because it was like, kind of it was like kind of a crazy feat but I I the at the feeling at track practice and seeing all the girls training and stuff was a similar feeling that I had leading up to nationals and like internally I was like we're gonna win like I knew the whole time and then same feeling like coming into track and then when it all got blown up and taken away I was just like oh my god like this sucks like it's just brutal and then like to going from like having such like high goals for myself and for the team and then not even being able to just go to practice and go for or even go for a jog like it, it was just the weirdest feeling in the world and like honestly heartbreaking like I'm not gonna lie I was like definitely depressed like when it happened and like we're all of a sudden I go and I'm taking like five online like business courses just getting like hammered like and now there's no structure I have to like make sure I'm making the time to like go outside and exercise but also like be mindful because this is when everyone was just like kind of rude about COVID too like you'd be walking down the street and people would be like get away from me, like, move over, like, I would have so many, like, kind of people, like, like, it's, like, people were scared of each other, so it was just kind of, like, it's just, like, it sucked, and I'm sure, like, everyone, you know, who's used to playing sports and having structure like that is feeling the exact same way, and, yeah, it was, it was brutal, but, you know, way she goes, everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> what else has been keeping you busy this summer? Yeah, I um I've had a couple things on the go. Um I my family owns a small like independent specialty running store in White Rock. So um when COVID hit, I definitely um started working back there like as much as I could cuz like it's it's my family's business and we like many other businesses when everything got shut down, we were I was my dad was like I don't know how we're going to pay the bills like if we have to do this for more than like x amount of time like we will have to go under there's no way like we cannot afford to close our doors like this but it's so crazy i'm kind of actually probably one of the most positive things that's happened since in covid um kind of just like a special thing is like there's definitely been a resurgence in like running and walking um i'm sure you've seen like outside that's what everyone's doing and exercising outdoors and so in order to do that like you need a good pair of running shoes and so my family's business has been absolutely booming which is so wonderful for me because you know, like it's, it's something that I take a lot of pride in. It's been around my family for like, it's older than I am the store. So it would just break my heart if because of something like this, that was completely out of our control that we had to go under, like it would just make me so sad. And I'm so happy that, um, yeah, like we're able to serve like our community here in White Rock and other places and people are getting really fit and like loving that they can come into our store and have some type of normal service. And it's been really cool. Like lots of people that have come in have been like, I haven't had the time to like exercise and like really take care of myself and taking this time during COVID to like get myself a routine and get really fit and active. So it's been, it's been really cool to actually be a part of that. And lots of people have been so grateful for our service. And like we did the best June in like seven years or something, which is like crazy for us. So I'm, um, yeah, it's, that's really exciting. So that's kind of been mainly what I've been doing. Um, I've been doing like a little bit of like marketing work for a startup just for fun to put on the resume and learning a little, couple of skills that I can take with me when I graduate and apply for a big girl job. But that's, uh, it's just for fun for right now. But mainly I've just been working at my family's business and helping them out. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, thanks, Jessica. Really appreciate you talking to us yeah. and uh, glad to hear you guys are back training and, and having fun yeah. again. And um, best of luck as we uh, head back into another, although a weird uh, school yeah. year here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. This is awesome.